All right, everybody, welcome to World War III. So the game's about to start, but here's my base. Here's the enemy base. It's the red one on the map. In the middle, we're at a border crossing. So you may think, hey, this looks a lot like a border crossing, and it is. This is World War III, and I'm gonna be the NATO powers, and we're gonna be fighting the Warsaw Pact. Now, I've got an ally here, so it's gonna be two versus two. I'm gonna be controlling some of these units. I can call in infantry, I can call in light support vehicles, tanks, and this is my favorite part. Now there are aircraft, like helicopters, and I can even call in jet fighter bombing airstrikes. It's gonna be incredible. So our objective here is to hold our base and take these supplies in the middle. Now my AI friend here decided to, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take the base. And I'm like, bruh, you do that. Cause I'm gonna take this here center supplies. Yes, now sir. the cool thing about Men of War is you see those shadows? I can put men behind a, like yes, obstacles sir. and it'll show you where they go. I could even put a guard in this tower up here and I probably should because I wanna see what's gonna be coming up this road. We're gonna need vision. Oh gosh, you see these trees moving? The Ruskies are coming! See, now I have vision, and my scout just got absolutely poo-pooed on. So let's move them behind the defenses here. My AI friend is moving up. I'm gonna go ahead and abandon the crew member. See, this is the cool thing about this game. I can, look, this truck is no longer operable because I moved the pilot, the pilot, the driver out of it. Okay, so we've got a classic Soviet infantry rush, but my friend's infantry and mine are holding it. Look, this guy is medicating himself. This guy just, I don't know, got experience. And the cool thing, hey, look, it's a Chaffee. We got a light tank. Some of these guys have M1 Garands. I think the guy I sent up here had an M16, I'm not sure. These Soviets have uh, semi-auto rifles. It's interesting time period because it's just after, it's between World War II and like the Vietnam War. Intel discovered new supplies. Oh, look at this. Okay. Well, why don't we take command of that? I'm gonna send some infantry up. Basically, when you spawn units, they spawn from the back side of the map, and you've gotta move them forward. So, there's kind of like a supply chain issue, or you definitely, at the very least, have to account for the time that it takes to get infantry from the rear to the front lines. The front lines being here. Now, his tank is going up here. Without infantry support, his, his, uh, let's just say, his vision's gonna be decreased. See how these infantry are popping up? That's because vision has just opened up. Oh my god. Chaffy McChaffington. Look at this. The Russians love to rush trucks. I don't know what, it, what about that is so appealing to them, but they love it. And it just blew up. So his infantry are moving up here and giving the old Rushkies a little bit what for, but my favorite thing to do in the game is to call in aircraft. Look at this. This Chaffee here, the Russians have not come up with an opposition here to the Chaffee. None of these guys are equipped with RPGs. And if you saw the Tabs video from yesterday, that's a rocket propelled grenade. Really good anti-tank weapons, really good anti-armor. And this symbol indicates that they're bleeding out and a medic could heal them and put them back in the fight if you could get a medic to them. So my infantry have secured, well, I guess they're in the process of securing it. See this wheel? It's gonna slowly turn green all the way around it. But this tank and his infantry, which continue to push up, are trying to push for this base over here. If we take the enemy base, they lose it. This is just one of the many game modes that are currently in the game. In 48 seconds, I'm gonna be able to get a Huey Heavy, which means a Huey armed with some pretty heavy weaponry. It's my favorite thing in the game. So this is what I'm talking about, look at this. We've got World War II era grease guns, M3 grease guns, We've got M1 Garand semi-auto rifles, and then we've got this new thing called an M16. The weaponry straddles the eras and just, it's like this forgotten era. The Cold War, man. So much, it was an arms race. So much stuff happening. And here we go. The Urukoi Heavy. Now, just like any RTS, I can command this unit wherever I want. I just, I do have to watch out for trees. But let me show you something cool about this game. I've always loved the Men of War series. See this? I am in command and third person controlling. See, this is the M3 grease gun. Not super fast, but you know, and if you know what, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's throw a grenade. See this arc? I can throw it over that fence. I can unselect the guy, move up the grenade. Oh, that's gonna explode. <laughs> and it blew up the fence. There's destruction physics. Now we saw how slow the grease gun was. How about the M16? Now M16s were semi-auto, so I have to manually click each time. 
And then here's the M1 Garand, which is gonna be semi-auto as well. I love it, man. I freaking love it. So it looks like my friends here are trying to take the enemy's supplies, which are over here. Ooh! Oh. See this on the map? That red triangle? Kind of pentagon triangle looking thing? I thought that meant an enemy armor piece was on the field. A tank. Something like that. So now that you got the basics, we're gonna switch this up a little bit and accelerate and make this even crazier. So look at the map in the upper left. There are now seven capture points. The battle's gonna be bigger, there's gonna be more enemy as well. So this is a different game mode and I've put in a bunch of enemies. There's only two of us on the NATO powers and three on the Soviet Warsaw Pact. Oh my god, there's horses. <laughs> I wonder if we could ride them. That would be awesome. But there's all kinds of different units I can call in. There's different classes of infantry squads. Scout infantry, assault infantry, regular, paratroopers, and rangers. And they can come in different things. They can come in trucks, they can come on foot, they can come in armored vehicles, or even Chinook aircraft. All right, so let's go ahead and drop our men here. If we can take the center point here, this is going to be the main area of contestation. Is that a word? Is that how you word yes, it? Contest? Contesting? All right, so let's spread our men out. Got See, it, I can sir. break the squad up. It's not... It, I love this about Men of War. Men of War yes, is sir. fantastic. It's like a battle simulator engine it, that is just well ahead of its it, time. Sir. Oh, and look, here's our medic. It, We're gonna keep him back here where it's safer. So it looks like the, uh, our friend here brought his M... M4-1A3 Walker Bulldog, which looks a lot like the Chaffee, but it's a little bit better. Oh, shoot. We got problems, boys. Enemies flanking on the left. That means we're gonna have to defend this up. We're gonna have to move our men around. But I love how the shadows just show you where your men are gonna go, and then once you're inside, it kind of like takes the roof away. You can also put them in windows. Uh-oh, here's the Russians. Let's see how we're gonna defend. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting flanked by... Oh, shoot. This is a Soviet BMP-1. It's a... Uh, it kind of looks like a mini tank, but look at this. It can also carry troops. It's gonna be tough to destroy, but I could use infantry, I could use other armor, or as I said earlier, I'm gonna be able to call in helicopters, and that's my favorite thing, but I gotta wait a minute and 50 seconds till I can call them in. I wonder if any of my guys have a yes, rocket propelled any anti-armor. Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna move my guys out of this base because it's just attracting enemy fire. Look at this, they're walking into a crossfire. And I just got reinforcements to my friend. I think we'll be able to hold on to this. We've got these flag points secured. I need to move these guys in a better position. Oh snap, we're getting flanked. Okay, I definitely need something to deal with this. Hold on, look at this. My friend brought up his little walker bolt. Oh, this is a chaffy, it's his different tank. And he's giving the enemy tank what for? So there's two modes to play. One is kind of hardcore mode, which we're not. We're basically like tanks have their historical armor, and so like they can die in one shot. But look at this. This thing has a missile, it's got a main gun, and it's got machine guns. Oh shoot. Speaking, we still have these Russians flanking in here. We lost this wall. Remember the destruction physics. Now, medic. I don't know if this is smart, but we're gonna send the medic in to try to heal this guy. There's a lot of enemy infantry around here. I am the medic's down and everyone's gone. Okay, that means we're gonna need something to deal with that. Oh look, how about this? So, remember how I said you could control it? Actually, I think we need to... This guy needs to increase his elevation. He's kind of low. I'm gonna call him in to the front lines, the border crossing here. Alright, we're gonna have to move infantry in. Oh god, that's bad. Multiple! enemy pieces of armor moving in here, but don't worry. I'm gonna directly control this thing. Now, as the ally, I've got this thing. Oh my god, there's two of them. No, there are two of them. All right, this is an anti-tank missile, and I can call in these rocket pods. Look at this. You see these health bars? That means infantry are dying back there. Unfortunately, I've already fired. Oh, they're shooting at me. <laughs> I hit that armored vehicle. He's dead. Okay, now the tank's moving up, so what I should do with this guy is pull him back to support over here where the infantry are, because we're getting attacked on all sides, and this thing has some pretty good rockets to deal with infantry. They're moving it over here. Uh-oh, I've only got one rocket left, and it looks like my helicopter's been damaged. It took some enemy ground fire. We're gonna land it right here, which actually, hold on. Beer, beer. Don't land there. That fence will make you... Never mind, it won't. All right, everybody out. We gotta save our pilots. Please evacuate the premises. So here's the pilots, they just left the vehicle. 
Oh my god, and the enemy Russians are definitely overwhelming this position. And they're- Oh, that's a T-3045, okay. That's a big tank. What do I have to destroy that? In 10 seconds I can get a patent tank. That's a pretty good tank. Or I could call in an anti-tank team. I'm gonna call them in from over here. Send them over here. See, I've got an infantry squad here that I gotta protect. None of these guys have any tank equipment. Oh man, the enemy- the, the Russians here are holding down the center of the map. Let's see, we've got three, they've got three. And this tank is just moving. By the time my guys get there on foot, it's gonna be too late, but you can see how they're carrying some big old bazookas here. Alright, I'm gonna tell them to go double time, and I'm gonna call in a patent tank onto the battlefield as well. And let's get some rangers. Rangers do lead the way, after all. Target is in the open. There's a tank unsupported by infantry. If we can smack it in the butt with a heavy rocket, dude, I'll tell you what. Look at this. He's rolling up, though. And it looks like we might have a tank duel here. Or they just don't know. He doesn't know that there's a T-34 over here. There he is, he just popped up. Well, well, well. Let's try a rocket attack. Now, the side is gonna be a little bit weaker. You don't need that tank. Look at this <laughs> rocket. Yeah. All right, one more should do it. Yes! <laughs> All right, enemy tank down, gentlemen. Now we'll pull these guys up here to support our attack on this zone that we just lost. We've got friendly infantry moving in, so it's gonna give us vision. So our big old patent tank here, now, he's gonna have different types of rounds. Look in the bottom middle. He's got armor-piercing rounds. We don't want that. Let's switch to HE, which means high explosive. Something just blew up. Not seeing any infantry, though. They're, they're taking it back. So let's switch back to armor-piercing rounds so that we can deal with the enemy armor elements that are on the field. Look at this. See? Oh! That was an HE round. This guy's detracked, meaning he can't move. He could send a crew member out to repair the tracks. Oh, and here we go, the battle for the center. So I think what I need to do is move my tank up to the center with my friend's armor. I got this ranger squad here, which, really good infantry. I'm gonna move them up as well. Nobody told us about it. Look at this, this tank just got disabled. Here's the tank crew members. It's like when you destroy a tank, you don't really just flat out destroy it. Oh gosh, enemy Russian helicopter. Look at this. All right, so is this a troop transport? It's a mil MI-8T. And it doesn't have any guns, this must be a troop transport. I wonder if I can see it and shoot it out of the sky. Here we go. Fire one! I hit it! <laughs> oh my god, I can hit it. Yeah! Oh no, it's gonna fall on the APC! Okay, we destroyed the enemy uh, transport helicopter. And my ranger squad just got here. So I'm gonna show you something cool. One of my favorite things about this game is you can repair vehicles and put them back in the fight. Uh-oh, what happened here? Oh god! These Russians are just charging across the border here. Ooh, and we've got another Russian infantry squad attacking back here. These are anti-tanks. Look at this. This guy's got an RPG. He fell. So one of the other cool things about this game is, let's say I wanted that RPG. I could inspect this guy. I'm gonna have to run around the fence. Or I guess I could just follow. He just, well, there you go. That works. All right, so he's got the RPG and he's got some rocket rounds. And let's go ahead and take the medical kit. We could even take his gun if we wanted to. And look, now he's got our now he's got our RPG. Hello! RPG, baby! And we got four rounds. Hey, we don't need that. <laughs> Alright, get back to your post, soldier. I've got another squad attacking. So, armored personnel carrier. Hey, Baron, what does APC mean? What does that in mean? Well, it, it transports troops. Oh shoot. Hit the trenches, boys. We're getting shot out on the flanks. You yes, boys sir. scout this out. And he's got a 50 cal machine gun on the top here. And he's pretty well armored. So we're gonna get an idea of what's going on in this zone as we move in here. So he's gonna be able to give us support. But generally speaking, the American 50 cals are really good. Now these are rangers. You can tell they look, they mean business. It, they look different. They're fearsome. This guy's running near my old helicopter. I think he got taken down by the pilots. <laughs> here they are chilling. There's a Sherman tank on patrol. We got some enemy infantry back here. In about in a minute and 18 seconds, I'm gonna be able to call in air support, which is one of my favorite things to do. The air elements are my favorite things. Okay. Oh God, someone killed all my tank crew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start repairing this Chaffee. Look at this. This is a tank crew member, and now he's repairing the disabled tracks. But I lost some other ones, so I'm gonna call in some more tank crew members. Call them up, because. You need to crew the tank. That's why they're called tank crew, boys. Well, it looks like the enemy doesn't really have a good situation going for him. Oh, man. Hold on. I gotta find my medic. Here's the medic. So I can individually select him. I can't let one of my men die. Fire rounds! 
All right, look at that. Medic's healing him. We'll put him back in the fight. Like, the level of detail in this game is just flat out incredible. That's right. Oh my god, the medic healed the medic. Well, I bet they're both happy about that. <laughs> And let's move them to kind of safer spots. Ooh, Russians are moving in. Nope, never mind. Those are friendly forces. Whew. Could have been a friendly fire incident. Russians moving in on this base. Oh, they're bomb rushing it. Do you hear that, guys? Like, get ready for medals. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the enemy's capturing this point. We don't have any infantry around, so we can't exactly tell. We do have what looks like an armored personnel carrier flanking around it. I could call it an airstrike. And I think with the, the way this battle is going, I'm gonna need to call it in now. So I'm calling it an airstrike right here. Now it's anti-infantry, but you're gonna see the plane fly by in a second. Ha! <laughs> it was that fast, and look at that, there it's dropping. I wish I could go slow-mo. And it just wrecked the building. It didn't look like the infantry were protected. They must be over here. Well, I guess there's something else we could do. US paratroopers airborne. Let's bring them in here. So check this out. It's a Chinook, and it's got airborne rangers in it. Oh my god, I love it. We're, we're taking it behind enemy lines. Look at this, see this? Movement in the bushes means there's enemy infantry. Here's the, uh, the Soviet armored personnel carrier. This one's disabled. So now that the Chinook is generally in position, we're gonna descend, and I'm gonna unload the troops and try to take this trench here to get vision over this spot. So this is a risky maneuver, but now everyone's piling out of the Chinook. I used to play Men of War modded all the time. I used to have a series called Men of War Mondays. All right, so you're gonna need to get up and we're gonna pull you back to friendly lines. And I'm gonna buy some scout infantry and I'm gonna pick them up too. But first comes first. Move the gentle, move the infantry in. We got some friends moving in on this flank. Oh, that's a, that was a Russian flamethrower. Ooh, what was that? Grenades? Boys, get ready for medals. All right, so we're gonna take this. The enemy looks like they're contesting this. I can call it another airstrike in about three minutes if I need it. Look at this infantry guy creeping around. Someone's got vision on him though. All right, Chinook, let's go ahead and drop down. I'm gonna need you to pick these boys up, take them to the front lines. Air cab operation. So I sent them in, now they've got to enter the vehicle. It's funny how this looks like a really angry frog from the back, the Chinook. <laughs> and there you go, you can actually see how many seats there are. Looks like we can hold a lot more men, I think. All right, now we gotta ascend, and we're gonna take them over here, I think. We're gonna do some risky business. I'm gonna try to land in the middle of it. I know it's a bad idea. That's why I'm doing it, because it should be fun. My patent tank is still holding down the front. We're gonna move our infantry up a little bit. Our team is just absolutely kicking butt right now. So here's the Chinook flying over the terrain. Any guy with an RPG could shoot this down. But look at this, we're at 98 out of 100. Hold the phone. Oh! Look at this. Russian infantry passing on, on, like, down below. So we got a victory, and it was pretty definitive. Now let's play as the Russians. Well, this is interesting. So the border's gonna be at a different angle than we just fought it. Now I'm gonna go for some mechanized Soviet infantry from the beginning to try to take these center supplies here. I think this is definitely gonna be the key spot, just like it was in the last game, although the style of play is a little bit different. Here's our base, we already have it. I wonder if I can get some AT team up there. Oh man, the truck's slowing down in these trees. The truck's almost there, and once it is, we're gonna basically unload all of our Soviet tovarishes, our Comrades in arms here are men. Da commandir. Oh, that's weird. They got the sandbags on their side. Oh, they're coming in on the side. That's not good. We're on the wrong side of the sandbags. Oh my god, that squad just got eliminated. Luckily, I've got some reinforcements coming here, but there's a pretty fierce battle here in the middle. We're gonna move this truck up, and I'm, I'm manually controlling it right now to move it where I want it. Whoa. And now I'm gonna take the driver out. Oh my god, all my infantry's gone. Gentlemen, we're getting overrun. I'm calling in a BMP-1. This thing is gonna be very, very effective, I think. Oh snap, what was that? Oh look, my friend's got a PT-76, which is actually an amphibious tank. The enemy has brought up these troop transport trucks. All of my infantry is getting overrun. I need to throw a grenade right here. So let's see if I can't pull this grenade off. Oh, he pulled it off, but we're overrun. PT-76 arrived at the right time. It seems the Russian infantry is not as good as the NATO counterparts. So one cool thing about armor, let's check this out. I've got HE rounds loaded. I've got multiple different weapon systems. If you look in the bottom middle, I've got these HE tank shells. I've got these anti-tank missiles. And then I've got that heavy machine gun. So I can bust through this wall. I just opened up a new avenue to the front line. Hold on, let's, let's use our heavy MG here. Ooh, that thing is nice. You know what? I don't really like that guy hiding behind there. 
HE round, son. So we may not have as good of infantry, but I'll be darned if we don't, um, we as in the Soviets here, have some of the best light armored vehicles in the game. So I'm gonna leave this guy here. He needs infantry support to scout around him. Let's do Soviet rec regular infantry in mechanized form, which means armored personnel carrier. It's got a machine gun on the top, so we can use that as kind of like a mobile pillbox almost. And it looks like the enemy's taking these supplies over here. I can call it an airstrike, but not for another 10, 11 minutes. Oh, snap! Yeah, see? When you don't have the infantry cover, they can sneak up on you like this. Oh, there's a bunch back there. Alright. Let's try to- Oh, snap! Bum rush. <laughs> that guy got absolutely eviscerated. Okay. The APC's here. You know what I want to do? While that infantry's pushing, this is going to be a little tricky. Oh, please don't get stuck. Is that going to- Whoa. It's a little squirrely at times. Move my infant- move this right here. He's gonna be covering on the flank, so this machine gun should cover right here. Alright, now we gotta spread our men out. But look at this, the machine gunner's sitting there, he's covering- da -da 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 -da. They just bum-rushed here, they're all taken out. So this was a pretty good defense, although this vehicle is now blocking the line of sight of this guy in some degree. Ooh, so here's- here's the Russian armor. So there's the PT-76, which you see right here. It's an amphibious tank. It's called PT-76 because it's main gun, as you can read right there, under AI normal PT-76, a 76 millimeter. Then we got the BMP-1, T-3485, T-55, T-62, and then this crazy thing called a T-10M. But, we can also get helicopters. The infantry are just absolutely running. This is why, in my opinion, when you're playing the AI at least, it's very key. Oh my god, this guy just busted down this wall. Get back to cover, soldier. To take the middle as early as possible. Alright, we're gonna take more aggressive positioning with this tank here. More aggressive positioning, better shots. You, sir, need to stop being a coward. We'll, we'll bring some friends over for you. Spreading out the infantry basically means if they get one lucky high explosive round like that, they don't all go down in flames. Now, the enemy is capturing these supplies. There's still a little bit of time left. I'm gonna make them regret that. We've also got infantry moving in here, so I'm gonna move my helicopter to this position here. Now look at this. Looks like a flying... I don't even know, man. A flying potato. <laughs> it's the MI4. And this one, look at the rocket pods on the side of it. It's got rockets, machine gun, it's all got all assortment of goodies. So we're gonna take command of it. We got this heavy machine gun, which is pretty nice. Da, 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 da. But we need something a little more effective. How about that? Look at the kill feed in the upper right. Boys, anything that was there is gone. You see that red circle decreasing? Oh, and look, they're over here now. Well, we've got command of the center of the map. How about some rockets from behind, boys? Woo! <laughs> oh my god, helicopters are just the freaking best. So now I can move them to a more conservative position over here, overlooking the center of the field. Or alternatively, it looks like we're going on the offensive here. Oh, something just shot down this helicopter. Well, you know what? Whatever it is, we got infantry. Oh, hold on. Recover requesting danger close artillery. These infantry were, you know. Look at this guy trying to run. <laughs> now let's shell the base. Ooh, there's some people. Oh, we just got a bunch of them. And when you look at how many r rockets I have, hold on. There's some, there's some infantry flanking behind me. Oh my god, yeah. Wait a minute. And there's armor over here? Hold on, can I hit that? It looks like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they were trying to take our supplies. Alright, so I'm still in the helicopter, I got the aerial view. Doesn't look like they're here, hold on. There's some in this base. Now, oop, that kind of got close to hurting my guys. Oh, and there's some in the trees back here? Needless to say, combined arms is pretty effective. There's two infantry capturing it, and they were able to do so because of my helicopter. So let's see how this puppy's doing. So, I've got 16 of those anti-personnel rockets left. And it looks like these guys... Oh, they lost their... I think that was a little bit of friendly fire. Oh my god. Oh, these poor Americans. They're over here again. I've got eight rockets left. Let's move this guy into position again. So, here he is flying over here. This is the cool thing, being able to switch between user control and just like kind of RTS. Point. All right, this this PT-76 might show me where they are. I've got to be more conservative with my rockets now. Look to the left. He is. There he is. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, feels so good. Let's bring in 
airborne troops. I've got this helicopter in support. And then another thing I wanted to do... Oh, I gotta wait 4 minutes 50 seconds. This battle might be over before then. Was call in an airstrike on this zone. So there's some infantry here. They've got... Oh, is this... Is this a troop transport? No, it's just a regular truck. Those silly... Oh, what's this? Oh, <gasps> okay, beautiful. All right. I'm gonna show you one of the other cool weapon systems. If this thing pops up, we need, we don't have vision of it yet. I can send a rocket in, though. That APC is somewhere out there. I've got these anti-tank missiles. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right. Anti-tank missile loaded. Oh, you see that? Reach out and touch someone. All right. I got one more. This should do it. Oh, yes. Okay. So I've got... Wait, is that my helicopter? Oh... Oh wait, no, it's right here. All right, so I'm telling him to look this way, and he's gonna orient himself. Oh god, please don't go under my helicopter. I need to land this puppy. All right, this is this is gonna be frisky and risky. Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's see if this crashes. Oh my god, it worked. So I'm literally telling my infantry to pop out right in front of these guys, and it doesn't look like it's working. How's my main helicopter doing? I guess we could always use... I do have the heavy machine gun. I have a few rounds of that left. There we go. There we go. Ooh, this thing needs some repairs. There we go. Everybody out of that helicopter. It needs repair. I'm wondering... Oh, there we go. Finally. And this guy... Look at this. He actually ran out of fuel, so he had to land. So we're going to evacuate the pilots. Pilots are out, boys. Now we can call it an airstrike. Let's see. In two minutes. We seem to be pretty focused here. This guy's still holding down the fort. A lot of infantry in our way here. And needless to say, my airborne op did not go well. Oh, here we go. That worked. Okay, let's move them back to a, you know... Airborne ops are still in the works, you know? We, we, we gotta get better. All right, descend. There we go. They were jammed up. They were too close to this thing that was blocking the doors, but we achieved victory nonetheless. And look at this. We got 132 Ks to only 19 days. <laughs> and we got, we destroyed six enemy vehicles, lost zero, which is surprising given how poorly I was operating the helicopter. But we were just playing relatively simple AI. You can play this multiplayer. There's also this dynamic campaign mode I want to show you real quick. So here we go. You can create a campaign. I've got one going that I was learning and look at this, man. See this map in the background? That's what's happening. It's really very interesting. Because basically I've been fighting for a while now and I've got these different units and they can come in waves and then when you start, look at this, this is the map that you're fighting over. We started over here and we fought to the center island right now, which is pretty cool. So I'm NATO, they're Russian, it's a lot of fun. And I'm playing on normal to learn, but if you guys want to see more, I've got some friends that would love to play this. There's single player, there's multiplayer. Let me know if you want to see more Men of War, guys, and I will see you in the next video.